Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Neeraj Kumar saying and we are talking about Loadrunner tutorials. As a part of today's tutorial, we are continuing ahead in analysis and talking about how to make use of filter and granularity. The filter basically allows you to filter certain content which might not be really uh, difficult enough to find out, but so it might be easy to understand or get the information what you are actually looking at. Now, generally what happens here is number one thing, uh, when I have a lot of data, I may not be interested in everything together, but I might be confined to a certain particular set of data. And that's what I look forward to with help of the filters. Whereas granularity is basically the timeline granularity, where we define that if we want the nodes to be represented on the graph uh, at what interval of time, like five seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, or half an hour of time. So depending on the elapsed time, you can actually make it more finer. That means more closer. Like every five seconds, I want to see a node. And if I want to make it more coarser, I go with more than that, like, you know, 10 seconds or 15 seconds, or maybe every 30 seconds and so on. That's what we'll be practically understanding in a much better way in today's tutorial. So let's get started and understand the filter and granularity in the analysis of Loadrunner. As a part of this tutorial, we are continuing ahead in analysis in order to understand how to apply filters on graph and granularity of graphs. To begin with understanding these two options, that is filter and granularity, you must have a basic definition to it and of course an analysis report in order to apply them. The number one thing is definitely the basic definition to this. The number one filter basically stands for creating a further filter in order to see what you want to concentrate on. Filters are basically used to customize your search criteria or target to a particular part of the graph in order to concentrate on that. Whereas granularity determines that how coarser or granular the graph must be represented. For an example, when I'm looking at this particular graph right now, hits per second, this particular graph shows me the interaction between the server and the client by showing number of hits made every five seconds. But at this time, you do see both the options in the properties tab. Number one is filter, which is none right now, and granularity is five second. What is granularity? It shows how coarser or granular you want to see the report or graph. So right now, if you see the dots, that is the nodes of hits per second is displayed every five seconds. So you can see 5, 10, 15, 20 so far till the end of the execution. But when I want to customize this further, like I want more granular or more finer or coarser graph, I can actually define it from here. So let's start with the filter first and then go with the granularity. So let's click on the filter and there will be a three dot button here. Click on this to filter the data. For example, I want to filter the hits per second, not as an overall report, but want to concentrate on some of the V users specifically. So click on this and drop down and say equal to and the values includes the V user. So do you want to go by the value? Like for example, you have to mention V user 5, V user 9, V user 5 comma 9 or something like that. Or you can also define a range, for example, between this number 2 and the 5. So I want to observe 2, 3, 4, 5 V users. Okay. But if you want customly like 1, 5, 9, you can define them manually here. So let's go for the range and say, okay, now I've captured this values for the filter criteria, that is V0 ID, which is equal to two to five. And also if you want to filter it based on the time, you can define the time as well, that is between this to that. Okay, so you can create a filter for that as well. Now let's go with the V0 ID, and you can see that there is a, a optimization which happened on the same window of hits per second, but now I can only see the response of the hits per second between the user 2 and the 5. That is 2, 3, 4, and 5. So you can define that for that as well. Similarly, if I just want to quickly change it over and I want to go with the other one, that is, for example, values v user 1 and press OK. So v user 1 and say OK here. So now you will see the graph of it specifically of the v user 1 that what kind of hits he had per second. 
okay so this is how you can make use of filter and the filter condition would be different for different graphs for example if i go with running view users i would see view users status so click on filters again and you would see more options here like you want to go with the end status and there are different status available like error fail pass stop or if you want to go with the elapsed time, you want to go with the user ID or you want to go with the status of the B user like load, pass, quit, ready, run. So there are a lot of status which you see in the controller. So this is all for you to just practice them and look forward to different filter condition. My job here is to tell you that what all things are possible and how exactly it can be different if you go to a different graph. Similarly, if you go to the throughput, you do have different options here and you can check them all here right so it is just that like the filter is not restricted to view user id and elapsed time you may have better options when you deal with other different types of graph the next thing to understand here is granularity so right now we are looking at throughput so let's understand granularity on this particular graph it basically shows the number of amount of data or basically number of transactions performed per unit time which is measured in bytes per second over elapsed scenario time in minutes and seconds Okay, so granularity basically, as I told you, is all about making your graph more coarser or more finer. Finer will be more compact and coarser will be more elaborated. So right now it is set to the five seconds of granularity. It's all about the timing. So you can just see one small pop-up where you can define the granularity in the number of seconds or minutes or hours, depending on the length of the overall execution scenario. So say, for example, I mark it as 10 this time making it more coarser, press OK, and you would see the difference here. That now the nodes are represented only for every 10 seconds. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and so on. But for example, I want to concentrate on this part that what exactly happened between uh, 30 to 50. Then I can go ahead and top up with the filter here, elapsed time, okay, and define this as between 30 seconds 3 0 to what was the timeline? I think 30 to 40, right? So that was minute. So please be careful with those things. You may wonder that why your outcomes are not correct. So 3 and uh, this will turn to be 0. So now it will show between 30 to 48 seconds and press OK and say OK. Now this is what the graph difference looks like. All right. So you can basically do that uh, with help of filter where you can see it is between 30 to 40 as a filter condition applied here and the granularity is 10 seconds anyways. Now again, if you want to uh, make it more finer, so you just have to uh, remove this. So for that, I need to come back to my initial thing. So I'll just put this as zero initial and this is as 240 because that was the end of the scenario and press OK. Sorry, it should be 240, not 20. So it, this is zero and press OK. So now you see the entire graph once again. And uh, when you talk about the granularity, making it more finer, you just drop it down to one. So I think the minimum option on this graph is four. So if you say four, must be into zero between 40. Okay, that's great. <laughs> so we have the provision only to do that and press OK. So yeah, you can see that here. Similarly, if I go with the transaction summary, I go with the response time, I can do the granularity. Right now it is at you know four seconds. Let's see if we have a provision to make it more final. Yep, so response time is something which is critical. You can find out. So every one second there is a node displayed to you and you can see the difference between them, right? So this is how you can basically use granularity to further make your graph more coarser or more finer to see the minute details. So that was all from this particular tutorial to understand what is filter option, how to apply filters, what are the different filters available for different graphs. And at the same time, you understood about granularity, which you can also make use of to further define the coarser and finer display of a graph on the presentation. So should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.